Hello, hello, hello. Happy Marvelous Monday. It's Autoimmune Prepper here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, today, I want to talk to you about planning. Because it's like this. If you fail to plan, then guess what? You plan to fail. You're automatically planning to fail if you're not sitting back creating a plan for yourself. Now, my question is, oh, before I get started with the video, again, some housekeeping. Please give the video a thumbs up real quick. Just a click of the button. Make sure to share the video when it's done. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell. That way when I put out new videos, you'll be notified because I think what's, what happens is people subscribe, but they don't hit the notification bell. And so when videos go out, they're not aware or I don't know, sometimes I'm hearing, you know, little funky things are going on behind the scenes with the whole, uh, Y2 system, YouTube system. Anyway, back to the video content. Stimulus checks are coming, right? Have you made a plan on what you're going to do with your stimulus check? When you get that money, whenever we get that money, what are your plans? What are you going to do with your money? Because you got to make a plan for it. If you're prepping, I'm sure that there are things that you need. There are always things that we need. No matter how much you already have, there's always more to be added. For instance, you may want to make a list of things that you need. You want to go do an inventory. See what it is that you don't have so that when you get your stimulus check, you can buy those things. Um, an example of something that you could purchase, I'm sure a lot of you are hearing about precious metals, uh, silver in particular, um, uh, crypto, Bitcoin, but I'm, I'm mainly referring to maybe silver. You know, purchase some silver if you haven't already started to. Get your feet wet. Buy a few silver rounds. There are a lot of reputable sites online. I'll include a link to a couple of places that I personally have purchased from. And you can go check them out. Check out the reviews before you make your purchase. But that's something that you may want to think about doing with your stimulus money you also want to buy maybe extra canned goods water extra emergency supplies maybe you want to get that generator if you get the solar generator people please know that you need to get solar panels as well if you want to plan on charging that solar generator by the sun, you need solar panels to go along. You can't just go and sit that generator outside and think the sun is going to just magically charge it. It needs solar panels. I just wanted to put that out there. And let's see here. What else do I have? If you live in a two-story place, or anywhere up high, maybe you want to invest in one of those emergency ladders. Um, I'm mentioning that, but that's something I still need to to purchase because my home is two story. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that's how that wound up on my list. Fire extinguishers. I did recently purchase um, a couple of fire new fire extinguishers. So you may want to. Add that, pick something like that up. Let's see. If you're interested in wanting to start canning, you may want to purchase, invest in um, a canning 
machine and the mason jars. Um, food saver, the little machine that sucks up the the food and it squeezes it real tight. You may want to invest in that or stock up on food saver bags if you already have the machine. Gardening supplies. If you are a gardener, you want to stock up on gardening supplies. Your soil, your fertilizer. Um, maybe you want to buy a compost machine. I think there's a compost barrel or something like that. That might be something that you want to invest in when you get your stimulus money. Now you want to make sure that you are purchasing or investing in things that are going to be a value, an asset to you, not more debt. You know, if you can't help it, don't go out and put money down on a car and acquire a car note. Now, if you can flat out go buy a car, I don't know what state you're in, you know, somebody may be desperate and be selling a decent car for a decent price. But you want to make sure what you're getting is an asset. But make the list, make your plan for what you want to spend your money on. So that way when the money comes, again, you'll know exactly what you want to purchase. Maybe you need a deep freezer. If you have one, you need a second one. Like I'd like to get a second deep freezer. So that may be something I want to do. One of the things that I do, like window shopping, I'll go to Amazon. You might want to do this. Go to Amazon if you have a Sam's Club card. You know, go online to Sam's Club or if you shop Walmart. And what I like to do is I go through every category I could think of and I just shop. You know, shop like you just have all the money in the world. That's what I do. I go in, I shop, I put everything in the basket that I just that my heart desires. And it sits there. And then when I get money, I go back to my basket. This is a good thing about the online shopping. I go back to my basket and I see what's most important or I look at my budget and I just rearrange my basket according to what I need or what I can buy. And it's okay because you can just take things out of the basket and save it for later. Put it in a save for later section. And that's what I do. And then when I purchase that, I empty the basket out. And then I go back and I put everything back in the basket. And then when I get more money, I go back. I say, oh, okay, I want to get this now. I have the money for it. That way the shopping kind is already done. So if you're sitting around and you don't have anything to do, do some online shopping, put your items in the cart, purchase them when you're ready, remove the things that you can't purchase right now, and then put them back in the basket when you're ready to buy them. That's what I do. It's fun. It's kind of like window shopping. You know, you go to the mall and you window shop, you go in the store. Well, at least this is what I do. I like this outfit. I like these shoes. What well, used to do. And then when I go back to the store, when I have my money, I know exactly what I want. Give me that dress right there. Give me those shoes right there. And I'm out the door. Anyway, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Start making a plan on what you want to do with your stimulus money. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Please leave comments down in the comment section or if you have any questions. But remember, as always, to keep them cute. And don't forget to wake up every day and start it with an attitude of gratitude. Bye.